Rolls-Royce, first of all, uh, one of Britain's most famous corporate names, has reported its worst ever loss, one of the biggest in UK corporate history. The jet engine maker posted a pre-tax loss of £4.6 billion for 2016. That included the record bribery charge it announced last month, paid to US, UK and Brazilian authorities, amounting to £671 million. But the vast bulk of the losses came from a £4.4 billion write-down on derivatives designed to protect them from currency moves. That was largely down to the fall in sterling. Now, we were hoping to talk to Rolls-Royce Chief Executive Warren East at some point, but he told us then that he didn't have enough time. Happily, I'm joined, though, by Howard Wilden, uh, an independent defence and aerospace analyst. Now, Howard, let's get to that point first. I thought that the falling pound was supposed to help out manufacturers and exporters. Why hasn't it worked for Rolls-Royce? It, it works two ways. Okay? Over the, in the pre preceding years, when the pound has been, has been strong, because of their hedging policy, they've actually gained. Uh, so suddenly, of course, in 2016, when we had this dramatic drop in, in sterling, the like of which we haven't seen in a long time, that had a, a, a major, major impact, which they couldn't they couldn't avoid covering because it's very, very difficult to know to know where we're going to be one, two, and three years now. We're in a very, very different world. So they have come because of transparency. They want to be more open. They've decided to to make sure that they are completely up to date, shall we say, uh, in terms of their in terms of their, uh, their their hedging. Remember, they have to hedge because because they make here, they sell the world. Everything's priced in dollars, but they're making in euro or sterling or areas or indeed in Singapore. So it's one of the perils of the job. Let's, Let's have a look, shall we, at the share price uh, of Rolls Royce, one of the biggest fallers, uh, as we'll come on to today, down 4% there, we can see, 29.5p. Uh, you know, this, this was a disappointment, even looking beyond, looking beyond those, those costs that they've talked it, it about. Comes, it comes at a, at a bad time for the company. We've had the unfortunate incident in relation to the SFO. That's clear. That's now behind them uh, in, uh, as, as a company. Can I just uh, say the, the SFO incident, I mean, let's, let's just remind ourselves, shall we? I mean, you know, David Cameron, I've got, I've got a little quote that we should read here. You know, we're talking about one of the big companies for the UK, UK here. And David Cameron, uh, when he was talking about Rolls-Royce, he said that they were a world leader in the development of advanced technologies of which the country can be proud. I mean, you know, it does look rather awkward. And they are a, a world leader. He was absolutely right. They are a world leader and they're something that we should be very proud of here in the UK. Uh, they have been for many, many years and they will be again in the future. They have a massive order book to go, uh, to go, to go forward with. Yes, uh, they've admitted, they put their hands up that the system that should have been in, in, in fully in operation since regulations changed, since the Bribery Act and, uh, and the various other uh, regulations that, that not just the UK but other countries have, have signed up to, uh, uh, in, you know, collectively and individually, uh, that it didn't work. Uh, and, and, but they've admitted it, and I think that we can put that behind us. Final quick question. Is, is, is it all over? Is this now kind of in the past? Because there, there is still, technically speaking, a threat of prosecution hanging in them over oh, if they don't for, behave, is that right? For, well, yeah, of course there is. And so there should be that. that, that is that really the same about for these company. about these yeah, charges. Specifically for the company, it is it is behind them. Uh, now they've got to get on, continue to take the cost the cost out the, the package, which they which will take them three years. It's going to be a th three tough years for them. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying that we won't be back here uh, next year discussing some you know, some some issues because it takes time to rebuild. But they are on the way, and they've achieved more in this last year than they set out to do.